Hi, I'm Officer Andy Snyder and I work in our Community Engagement Unit. One of the duties of our office is to handle recruiting and hiring as well as background packets and background investigations. I'm here today to briefly discuss the background questionnaire. After successfully completing the civil service test, you will receive a background investigation questionnaire. You will have 10 days to complete the background packet after you receive it. The date and time the packet are due will be provided to you at that time. The instructions are very detailed and located early in the packet. Also noted is a list of things that need to be submitted when you turn in the packet. Please be sure to follow all of these instructions as you complete the packet. Many of the questions are very specific and ask for detailed information. Please make sure you fill out these appropriately. Some of the questions are intentionally meant to be open-ended questions. This is your chance to let us get to know you and also show us your writing style. There are people that have something in their past they may not be proud of and are concerned it may exclude them from our hiring process. It is imperative that these things are disclosed appropriately in the background questionnaire. Oftentimes, whatever event that has people concerned is not serious enough to have them removed from our hiring process. However, their attempt to hide or conceal this event is usually enough to remove someone from our process. There are three pages in the back of the packet that you'll need to have notarized. Please do not sign these pages until you are in front of a notary. The packet has several different sections. All of these need to be completed thoroughly and accurately. The sections include applicant information, autobiography, education history, employment history, financial history, law enforcement training and experience, legal history, military service, motor vehicle operation, references, relatives, and residency. You are evaluated on how the background packet is completed, so please follow the instructions. Now would be a good time to start gathering information the background packet asks for, specifically education history, work history, legal history, and a list of your residences. Many people ask how to make a good impression at this stage of the hiring process. Reading and following all of the instructions, as well as turning in a neat and complete background questionnaire, is a great way to do this. If you have any questions, make sure to comment and we will try to answer them on Thursday. Thank you and good luck.